Hi, welcome to another new tutorial from RoboJax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this 4x3 uh, keypad to get the data on the screen, something like that. When 5, 8, or any number that is pressed, you will see it. You can get the code and library for this project by clicking at the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. As you can see, we can insert DuPont wires here that makes it very easy for uh, debugging, prototyping, but when I remove it, the spaces are equally uh, aligned for 2.54 millimeter for uh, this type of DuPont. So that would make it very easy. This is very flexible. And the this wiring is also flexible. It can handle up to certain bending, but more than that, it might break. I've not tried it, so be careful with that. And as you can see, we have are using it as a button. So we have 12 keys, and for 12 keys, if we make the uh, one of the wires as a common, then then we have 12 wires plus one common it would be 13 wires. But now this has been done with seven. That's why we are using. And we are detecting the row and column. For example, when you press two, actually, uh, row and first row, uh, second character, and then second column, second character will be detected. So that way, the same wire is used for 0, 8, 5, and 2. And then these wires also will be used. For that reason, we have one we have one wire, two, three, four wires, and then one, two, three. That's why we have seven wires here. Now let's have a look at the wiring. The wiring is very simple. The uh, array that I've arranged in code will make everything easy. Just follow these lines. This is the top face, not that side. And the top face and all these wires from this side of this star is connected to pin 2 and so for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 it comes up to pin 8 because here we have 7. Let me now explain the code. The original code has been taken from playground uh, or the unit.cc slash code slash keypad. And uh, so here is the author, the name that was there. I just left it as it is. I will give you the link for the library so you can download it. Once you download it, you will have in your example and keypad, you will have multiple of the I'm just uh, giving you one of the examples here so you can customize it the same way this bytes row uh, will give you four and uh, rows that you have on the device and three is the number of columns so these are rows one two three and four and then we have one two three columns and then accordingly fill this up. The first row is one, two, three, and then four, five, six, and then the last row is star and the uh, uh, hash. So you fill that up accordingly. And here are the, the array that is holding rows and column. And you have to enter it the same way that I've shown you uh, through the wiring. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we create an instance of an uh, object from this class, a keypad. And then this is now our uh, keypad uh, object. We pass the array of the keys, this one, and then row, column, and then one array and the other array. So we are passing these row and column, and then row and column of arrays. So this class can work on that. 9600 baud is the speed of this serial monitor, it must match. And this is just a text. After that, the loop, we check keypad.getKey. If this gets a value, the value will be stored as a character here. And then we check if key or a character exists. Print this on the screen. Uh, you you can play with this and for example you can check a key like this the key is holding the key that the person press or is pressed so for example if you want to check if key is 
equal 4, equal, equal 4. This 2 equal means compare. And then you must put single quote to refer to as character. Otherwise, double quote would be for uh, uh, string. And then if you don't put any code, it will be an integer. This is not an integer because we have defined it as character because we have all the other characters. So that's why it must be defined as char or char. So the char will be able to hold all, including those other letters. So we can check if key that is pressed equal four, then we press print this. So you can do the combination of codes, like uh, some kind of lock or something. And then every time that's pressed, let's say you create a code that uh, accepts four digits or four characters, and then uh, do some action if four characters are entered according to, for example, two, five, eight hash should open the door or something. So you can put them in an array and collect it from the user and then check it. If it is true, then uh, do some action here. For example, you can put a relay a solenoid to open the door or send a text or turn on something or turn off something. Here is a demonstration. When I press any button, it just goes. And also, in terms of speed, you can uh, slow it down or make it faster. For example, if you add a delay, so one, two, if I press it, as you can see, one or two are pressed. Five, 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 and then six, nine, hash eight, star seven. All of those will be fast. But if you, but also you can add delay between this uh, on the loop. So if you have some delay of 100 milliseconds, the user must wait a certain uh, amount of time before pressing the other one. But I just put it in normal, so you can change it accordingly for your application. Thank you for watching. This was an introduction on how to use this 4x3 keypad for Arduino. Please make sure to subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. If you have comments or questions, please post it in the description below. Also, uh, follow us on Facebook. The Facebook link is also at the bottom of the description section of this video. Have a good time and take care.